Hey, it's Kelly from Ready Set Drone, and I am here today with my good pal, Nick Marty, from the latest Late Show. That's right. And I am gonna teach Mr. Nick here, who has never flown a drone, how to fly a drone. So, check it out. So, Nick, uh, First of all, tell me about, you moved to LA recently. Tell yeah. me about moving from Texas to LA. Uh, the heat is a difference, obviously. <laughs> you know, I live like 10 minutes away from the beach now, so it's a lot better weather, a lot more windy. So when I shoot my videos, it's a lot harder. I have to have like a five pound dead cat on my yeah. mic. Yep. But besides that, you know, I see people with drones all the time. Yeah. And I'm actually a lot, I do a lot of acting and I'm on set all the time and drones are a big part of everything. Sure, sure. So I have no idea how to use them. I see them all the time. YouTubers are using them. I gotta learn. And today, what I wanna teach you, and again, you've never flown a drone before, I wanna teach Thomas, you- uh, not clickbait. <laughs> I wanna teach you the five basic uh, flying techniques that, that everybody should know. So I've done a couple other videos. I did common mistakes, and I did one uh, beginner mistakes that a lot of beginners make. This is really just the five basic things that every pilot should know. Uh, before we get started, in 15, 20 seconds, tell me what the latest Late Show is all about. The latest Late Show is pretty much a late night show on a budget. I, I want to have a late night show, so I said, let me start it now. So I filmed it in my room. My bed's like two feet away from the camera. Basically, that's it. Expect goofy, expect stupid. I have fun with it. Check it out. Yeah. All right, well, so to get started here, um, I brought out uh, three drones. Two of them are the same. These two here, the blue one and the white one, are the SEMA X5. Those are the, those are the drones I always recommend for beginners. Why? Because they're cheap. They're not super easy to fly. They're kind of medium to fly. Okay. But if you can learn how to fly one of these and then you decide to upgrade to a Phantom or a Solo or a Unique, um, if you master these, you'll be uh, you'll be rocking when you get into a more expensive drone. That other one there is the Whirlwind. It runs between 100 and 200 bucks. It's brushless motors. It's pretty fast and it's a lot of fun to fly, but um, I just kind of brought it for something else to fly. I think I almost okay. killed you with it a few minutes ago, so sorry he about did. that. He did. I was drinking water, but he was showing me some <laughs> cool moves that he has. Yeah, I yeah. Still like and then it. I got a little too cool. But <laughs> anyway, so so to start off, um, five, five things you're going to learn how to do. Number one, um, a lot of people get the drones, a lot of people have problems taking off and landing. And the reason they have a uh, problem taking off and landing is because of a thing called ground effect. Now ground effect is what's created when a helicopter or a drone has its prop blowing downward and it creates a sort of vacuum underneath the drone. And what'll happen is if you don't take off with enough gusto, meaning enough throttle, yeah. sometimes you'll just, you'll kind of hover and then you'll flip over. Okay. Or sometimes when you're landing, the same thing happens. It's almost like a little bubble. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you how to do is to take off and land. Now, fortunately, these are small. They don't create a lot of ground effects. So taking off and landing is pretty easy. So we're gonna start off with, uh, should we do the white one? It's actually, harder to land with the landing gear on. It's easier when there's no landing gear because Bounce. it, it uh, yeah, bounces a little more. Okay. But I want to teach you how to take off and land several times without bouncing, without flipping it over. Deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the radio. We're going to turn on the, the, the drone. And we're going to bind it, which is, means we're going to push the stick up and down. And then we're just going to take off. Right here. So close to your face. <laughs> Yep, that's, that's all good. Uh, and then I'm just gonna bring it in and do a very soft, gentle landing. Okay. There we go. So now on your stick, you have, on your control, you have some very basic controls. This is your throttle, which gives it gas up and down. And this is also your yaw. Yaw is when it turns left and right. It's what a rudder does in a plane. Okay. So, so your yaw is what makes it spin in a circle. This is basically what would be your uh, elevator and your aileron. It pushes the drone nose forward, pushes it right, pushes it left, and pushes it backwards. So this okay. is what you moved, use to move around. You're really not gonna use this much right now, except if it starts drifting one way, this has no GPS, so it starts it drifting. Back. You're gonna just kinda of try to bring it back. So just take it up in the air, hold it right here for a second or two, and then just take it down, and do a nice gentle landing. Okay. All right, here we go, folks, look out. I got that, that's nice. How do I bring it back? Okay, uh, kill the stick. There we go. So when it starts to come back like yeah. that, push. It's, the wind is blowing this way. Push that stick forward a little okay. bit. Okay. Use that. That's your joystick, and just use it to try and keep it in the same spot. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So nice, gentle takeoff and landing. More gas. There you go. Push forward with the right stick. There you go. Ah. Okay. Now land it. Nice uh, and gentle. There you go. That's all right. Uh, Try not to bounce. <laughs> 
Okay, that was the Ish. bouncing I was talking about. Yeah. But all right, yeah. that's number one is that okay. whole take off and land thing. So number two, actually, you start you you jumped ahead. You skipped from step one to step two, and that is the hover. <laughs> okay. So the hover is where you literally take it up here yeah. and you hold it in one place as close as you can in one spot for as long as you can. Step number two, if you can learn how to hover this, there's a little breeze. I'd say there's probably a six, seven mile an hour breeze it right now. It feels like a lot to me. I'm scared because- uh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> just, just compensate. If it starts okay. rolling this way, push the stick that way. Just remember to keep the back of this thing towards you. And if it starts, like if it starts to rotate, yeah. use this stick, whoops, use this stick to rotate it left and right. So this. If you push it that way, it's going to rotate that way. If you push it that way, it's going to rotate that I way. I see it. So just try to keep that little on-off switch I know facing you. So hover now? Yeah, I want you to hover it right in front of us for about 10 seconds. All right. At, at about five feet in the air. Okay, bring it up a little bit. Bring it left. There we go. There's a nice. Now bring it down a little bit and use your push your. Uh, Get away from my face. Push <laughs> your left stick left a little bit. That's right. So you're, you're, uh, this is your left stick? That's right. So, so I wanted you to rotate it rotate <laughs> okay. it left. You notice now it's actually facing that way. See how the, see how the button there? Yeah. So, so uh, I'll show you, let me show you yeah. one time real quick. So I'm going to take it up in the air and I'm going to just, if it starts to rotate, I'm going to just kind of use this stick to rotate it like that. That looks so cool. Nice. But just hold it right All there. Right. And then nice gentle landing. All right. All right, one see. more time. Let's see if you can hover it over this area for 15 seconds. 15 seconds. All right, I got 15. And start the clock. All right. There you go. That's pretty good, yeah, right? That was decent. Yeah. Now let's see a nice gentle landing right on the pitcher's, um, the pitcher's mound. All right, it's going to be coming back here. Come on back. Oh, one other thing, kill the throttle all the way. Okay. I forgot to tell you, when you do land, you yeah. want to make sure to push the throttle all the way down and that stops the motors. Okay. If the throttle's even up slightly, the motors will keep rolling and it'll still do I was wondering why it was still going. All right, yeah. that's right. All right, so step one was what? Step one was? Take off and landing. And then this one was hovering. Hover. Yep. Okay. So that's step one and two. So what we're going to do now for step three is we are gonna, uh, we're going to take it off and then you're just going to use the right stick to go forward a little ways, come okay. backwards a little ways, and then recenter, and then go right, and then left. You'll make a cross, kind of okay. like a big, a big cross. So imagine that the center of the uh, pitcher's mound is the center of the cross. You go forward ten feet, come backwards past the pitcher's mound ten feet, go back to the center, go left ten feet, and then back to the right and go right ten feet. So it's basically just learning how to use the uh, the right stick to control it. So okay. I'm gonna. I wouldn't really be using the left stick as much right now, right? The only the only thing you're using the left stick for is your throttle and for your. Um, and for your uh, nice. your yaw, uh, yaw, where 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 if it starts to rotate, you want to keep the you want to keep the back facing. Us. Okay, it's yaw, yaw. All Imagine right. it's really boring. Yaw. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Game time. All Game right. time. Forward. Game time. All right, that's good. Now come back. Keep it nice and tight. Nice. Come back all the way to here. Keep coming. All right, now back forward. Go forward again. I say back forward. That's confusing. <laughs> now go. Now go left. Nice. Now go right. And the wind is blowing that way, so it's going to go slower to the right. Nice. Now bring it in and land it right on that. Right on that uh, center, or close to it. Okay. Why are you going that go way? Forward, go what? Forward. I, how do I yaw? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. okay. When you're in trouble, just kill the stick. Hey, it's killing. It's dying. Yeah. Just take it down. Boom. There you go. Went a lot farther than I expected. <laughs> All right, my bad. I think the wind got it. Yeah, it was the wind. It was the wind, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I know how to do this. I'm a drone expert. Like All right, now this is called the 360 yaw. Okay. Now, can you imagine, you're gonna take it up in the air, you're gonna hover, you're gonna use your skills you learned from hovering, and then you were gonna spin it around in a 360 yaw. So it should yaw. stay in the same spot? It should, right? Well, it'll move a little bit, but okay. yeah, relatively close to the same spot. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna take it up here, I'm gonna put it right about there, and I'm gonna just do this. All right. Okay, go forward. You keep it away from us a little bit because this will tend to drift towards us. Uh, you can say it's because I'm new. All right, now all right, give, it, give so it some yaw. Yeah, yaw it all the way, all the way. Keep yawing, keep yawing. All right, now, now. <laughs> and once again, <laughs> all right, I don't know. Kill, 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 kill it, kill the throttle, kill the throttle. There you go. So I'm gonna say real quick. There's a yeah. there is a cheat mode, just like in video games. How, you know, how there's cheat codes in video yeah. games. In um, in drone world, there's a thing called headless mode. 
Okay. And what headless mode does, it actually tells this thing, no matter which way it's facing, to always, um, when you push the stick forward, always go away from you. When you pull the stick back, always come towards you. So yaw doesn't matter. That's cheating. So you can program that? You can program that, but we're not doing that today. You're learning learn. the hard way. You're learning. learning the hard way. So if you can master it without headless mode, you'll be a better pilot. And then when you do fly in headless mode, you, you know what you're doing. Kelly just wants the best for me. All right. And the very last thing, oh boy, this is the toughest one. All right, I feel like they're all tough. <clears throat> this one is <laughs> where we're gonna fly it in a circle. It's what I was doing when I almost hit you guys. Okay. We're gonna fly it in a circle with the nose facing forward the whole time. So uh, what I mean by that is you're actually gonna be traveling and instead of keeping the back facing you like yeah. you were doing before, you're actually gonna rotate and fly forward at the same time. So I'm gonna go in a big circle around us and show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna basically take it and go like this. circle and now it's going in a circle well it's kind of a big oval actually so the Ford is facing us almost the whole time eh? so I'm basically just using the two sticks at the same time I'm using the um, I'm using the well now I'm pull, backing it up so I want to okay I'm gonna do a big circle big circle there we go they okay, push forward and then push the um, the throttle stick left oh, or right. right or right either way Whichever way you want to go. Yeah, there you go. That's it. That's it. Come it uh, down a little bit. Yeah, right. Uh, le less throttle. You're a little too high. There we go. Come, there you go. Now come towards us. You're facing away, so push the stick forward. It'll come towards us. Nice. Yeah. Now try doing a circle. There you go. There you go. That's uh, it. Now get away uh, from that. Get away from that big fence over there. Get away come, from the come fence. Come over this way a little bit. I'm yawning by accident. That's all right. It was actually. Pretty get away nice. from the fence. Uh, I'm killing it. It's all right. Hey, and that's another trick is if you get in trouble, yeah. kill it. Because you'd much rather have it crash on this side of the fence than on that, because then we have to walk all the way around, you know? So Nick, uh, yeah. let's go through it real quick. Five things uh, that every beginner drone pilot should learn. Number one, we want to go up and down without a bounce. Yes, take off and landing, uh, don't get ground affected. Uh, number two, hover. Hovering, learn how to hover, master the hover. I know the hover's boring, but it's kind of like, uh, Learning to drive, you have to learn how to steer. Steering might be boring by itself, but driving itself is really fun. After hover, you've got your Go back forward, and forth, back, and side, side. Right, left, yes, just practice that. Just keep the drone oriented the same way. Use your yaw stick to keep it oriented and just do that cross over and over again. And then you get to the exciting stuff. 360 yaw. 360 <laughs> yaw, baby. Woo, look at that. It's just yawing and yawing and I yawing. I remember the yaw now because of <laughs> the yawn. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so, well, and it's, that's the same term for an airplane. When an airplane, most airplanes, when they fly, if they turn, there's two ways they can turn. They can either do this, which is where they're using the ailerons, or they can do this, where they're using the rudder, and that's called yaw. Um, so you're learning, learning some aviation. Pilot, oh, av aviation. Yes, aviation speak. Um, and then finally, <laughs> you after mean? you got your 360 <laughs> yaw down, remember what's next? Now it's the, we're doing the whole 360 doing yaw. Doing the full like circle, the full yaw and throttle at the, the same time. The one where time. I kind of touched every base and then came back. That's right, you hit a home run. Thanks for coming Thanks. out, man. Thanks, man, I appreciate Great it. Here. If you haven't already checked it out, check out the latest Late Show. It is funny. Uh, it's definitely different than this channel, but hey, you should give it a shot. <laughs> Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.